Hey guys, it's Dr. M. Today on this video, I am going through a few pro tips to help you with your studies. But before that, be sure to smash that subscribe button because it really motivates me. And if you have not checked out my previous video on how to get started with studying, be sure to check that out before you watch this video. I'll be linking it in the description. Tip number one, read the summary first. Every chapter at its end has a few points as a summary of the whole chapter. Remember, these are the things that the author really wants you to understand and memorize. And it is the summary, so you will grasp all the important points before going through the chapter. This will also create a folder of the concept in your brain. And as you go on studying the chapter, all the information that you read gets automatically organized and categorized in your brain. Step number two, focus on the bold texts. Again, these are the stuff that the author of the book thinks you should really know. And most of the time, these are high yield content. That is, you might be getting a lot of questions from within them. So never skip them. Step number three, categorize the information. Whenever you are studying something, you are either studying a concept or a fact. Let's take an example. Suppose you just read that if you pour water kept at different containers into a single container, the volume does increase, but the temperature does not. This information right here is a concept and not a fact. If you try to memorize it, treating it like a fact, you will get confused later. But if you try to understand the reason behind it, you will retain the information for a longer time. But let's say that you just read that the area of a certain place is x square kilometers. Now this is a fact and you can do nothing about it. It is what it is and you need to memorize it whatsoever. So you need to learn to categorize the information that you are studying. But obviously, not everything that you will read will fall under either of the category. For example, DNA has a helical structure is a fact, but there is also a concept behind it. To teach you how to categorize the information, I will be making a video in the future, so stay tuned. Tip number 4, read and revise. You will need to watch the trailer of a movie before you decide to watch the movie itself. Similarly, you will need to study a topic by yourself before the teacher teaches it to you, because only then will you be able to identify all those things that you don't understand. This has two benefits. The first one being that you can clear all your doubts with your teacher when they teach you that topic. So once the class is over, there is nothing that will confuse you, which will boost your confidence on that topic. And the next advantage is that if you've already read the topic beforehand, the class where you are taught that will be a revision for you and you'll not be that student who cannot comprehend anything that is being taught. And once you are taught something in your class, revise the topic as soon as you go home. Remember, repetition is the key to success. And finally, tip number five, teach. Have you ever wondered how your teachers and professors know everything that they teach? Well, the answer is that they have been teaching the same thing over and over for years. When you're teaching something, you are repeating the information in your head and you'll not be able to teach something to someone unless you know that information very well yourself. So this tests your understanding on the content and shows you your study progress. What if there is no one for you to teach? Well, you can teach anything, your desk, your bed, and if that's weird, you can teach yourself. This method works very well for understanding and memory retention. And hence guys, these were a few tips to teach you how to study. I hope you enjoyed my content and if you did, please hit that like button. Also be sure to share it with others so that they can probably learn a few things too. Also guys, I have a Patreon account where you can contribute small pledges to help me with my content. So if you want to check that out, click the link in the description or that i button on the top. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and have a beautiful day.